see this is just one little piece of it. There are also little waterfalls cascading. All the way down to the water. Yeah. Hopefully it's not going to be too loud for you guys. And um, it did snow a second ago, so we'll see how the weather <laughs> holds out. Look, you can kind of see a big cloud. kind of perfectly for that. So, mixing lots of brown. It's sort of rimmed with light because the back uh, is backlit. So I have to remember that, and I have some grasses coming down. Not a ton of grasses, but. It might be about to rain or snow on us. I really hope it's not going to pour. Again, so, okay, um, so there's a little bit of blue and turquoise in that water, just like barely visible, so I have a little leftover from my last painting that I'm going to steal just for the shadow tones. Like a little indigo. dark actually as it like cascades down the rocks so I'm gonna let some like thick solid strokes show through it kind of like cascades down at an angle um, and there's like shadows underneath the waterfall right here where the stones are wet so I'm gonna brush some of that on as well. to sweep the brush, or I mean the palette knife, like horizontally across. Occasionally you can like catch it and drag it and it creates a nice shadow. Like doing it underneath these big highlighted areas helps to create that sense of shadows coming down. At least I think, <laughs> we will see when that's done how it looks. I don't want to overdo it because it's such a small canvas. I don't want it to get be like too amount, too much um, crazy detail, uh, too much going on. So it's like two areas here and there. And I 
again, I'm going to lastly, I'm going to come back in with my water, which isn't going to be pure white, except for a few tiny areas. It's going to be like a grayish bluish white. creating variation in the stones though and then in a few areas like make sure there's some shadow behind the waterfall because it's going to be vertical like cascading down this will help I'm very I'm taking um, artistic liberty here with the design and the layout because I wanted the mountain in the background and the waterfall in the foreground and some of these words. Finish the sentence. What were you going to say? Oh, some of the uh, textures in the foreground and I'm kind of designing the composition so that it's pleasing to me. Not just like following it, following what I see religiously or anything. if you can get if you guys can hear me or am I just talking to myself <laughs> there's not too much detail in this foreground because it's not the focus uh, all right now I have to carefully mix my waterfall tones, which I said was going to be kind of a bluish gray. There are a few areas that are going to be more dark and more, some are going to be more bright. Um, I also have to add a few highlights to the rocks, so I should probably do that first. So I'm going to take my Naples yellow and mix it with a little bit of that bluish gray and kind of create those highlights just on the right side of where the wet rocks are as they cascade down. As the water is cascading down, it's like getting them wet. So it's only in a few areas and I don't want to go overboard, um, but I think it is important to make it kind of look like the, the rocks are wet. I like that part of the scene. This went a little too far. <laughs> Just use your finger. I have to say this is one of the most beautiful places I've painted in a while. And last time we were here we were hiking with some friends who weren't super into it and so we kind of uh, didn't stay as long as we wanted, which is fine. Don't want to force anyone to do anything. <laughs> But uh, we were like, okay, we have to come back here and hang out. So we brought some snacks, of course. You guys know we love our snacks. All right, now let's do the water. Bluish gray. The cool thing is that I have so many grays, I mean, so many tones on my palette that it's easy to make any kind of gray that I want. I, I can make warm gray, cool gray, whatever I need. Um, but I'm gonna sh use a little bit of blue in there. And if I squid my eyes, I can see the brightest area is right here and a little right here, but otherwise it's kind of darker. So I'm not going to have completely pure white, except for a few areas. And in order to make these, um, the waterfall, I'm kind of thick, using very thick paint right now. Lots of liquid impasto. And I'm just sweeping it across the canvas. does kind of cascade down. So some of it is very 
thick. Some of it I'm kind of pulling and letting it drag down the wet paint. It kind of falls right here, so this is very blue and white. brighter tones coming in. This area is very bright. And I don't want to go too crazy with this because I just want it to be, I want, I don't want to like brush away anything that I am making that I like right now. Thick brush strokes, I think, are just beautiful on their own, so you can let them do their thing. I think waterfalls are one of the most soothing things to paint. <laughs> and they're, I mean, they're loud, but they're just fun. Again, I have a little bit of a waterfall over here. This is like a little friend waterfall. It's kind of coming down. So I'm going to use less paint and less brightness. Because he's sort of secondary. Sorry guy, we love you too. A little too much white. So some of that off. Wow. Okay, well it's almost done and this has been so much fun. I do need to add a little bit of um, highlight to the foreground rocks, uh, but I wanted to make sure I got this in before it rained because just never know in this spot. It's already snowed once, it started sprinkling, and then it was like, oh, never mind. We're good. <laughs> so, let's do a little bit of some some it's almost just like a very subtle sheen what I would call it, a sheen. So I'm just loosely dragging it. Very kind of purple tones as well. But I don't want to take too much focus. a little and see if I want to add any maybe a tiny bit of highlight to the top just a hint because it is backlit um, of course now you guys can see probably 
that. The sun is coming back out and there are um, some pretty clouds in the background, but I'm going to keep this kind of moody because that's how it was when I got here. So just hinting at a little bit of brightness hitting the waterfall. Uh, and otherwise, we're done. The only thing I think I want to do is add a tiny bit of grass back up on top um, because, oh man, I have a lot of blue in my paintbrush. Um, we do some of the shadows, I guess. Uh, there are actually grasses like growing on the cliff side, so I want to add a little bit of that capture. They're like greenish brown. in there just to add some variation to this rocky cliff face but nothing too 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 distracting it's kind of like hanging down along with the waterfall which is cool tiny bit of darkness in the foreground, just like a little more shadow, but otherwise, what do you think? We're getting there. thing I'm going to do when I get home and I'm looking over all these, um, the edges get really messed up because obviously these clips are, um, the, the canvas can hit them uh, and, you know, scrape some of the paint off. So I may just kind of swipe the edges of the canvases like a quarter of an inch in to eliminate anything that's distracting if it's too much. Otherwise I'll just leave it as it is, which is also can sometimes be, I mean, obviously these are really rough paintings and I like it that way. And so the edges don't have to be perfect. Um, it might just add to the flare. <laughs> GoPro while we walk back down to the car so you can see how precarious some of the edges are. I'm dangerously close to allowing myself to overwork it so I need to like really slow down and stop and probably just stop. <laughs> so the only thing is brighter up there and then it gets a little bit darker down there. Yay, okay. Um, I 
think the beauty of this piece is that is seeing it in person because it's so thick and there's so much tech, uh, depth within the piece physically. <laughs> so maybe I can try to show you guys that. Oh my goodness, I have so much paint on my hand. I almost started touching things. Danger, danger. Um, oh, my back hurts. <laughs> oh, I just, I just saw a spot. This always happens. too like mounded there <laughs> all right now let's just say it's done because I want to just hang out and relax I <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one too um, again I'll show you a better photo of it later with my better with my nice camera and see you later spectacular. Oh, that's kind of busy. <laughs> uh, we decided to make one last little stop, even though I'm not painting or anything. We're just checking out this wee gorge, wee waterfall. Hey, it's wee, yeah. Yeah, wee. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me, doing those plein air paintings. It's been an amazing few days. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them as well, and and also the scenic video and stuff that I showed you. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see notifications for future videos, and yeah, leave a comment if you want to see anything else. Uh, otherwise, I'll talk to you later. See you next time.